You may encounter a situation where a worker is exposed to a mixture of different substances. In that situation, it's good to be able to calculate their level of exposure uh, to that mixture. And that's what we're doing in this video, in this calculation. We're calculating the worker exposure level to a mixture expressed as a percent of the TLV for the mixture. At the end of our calculation, if our percentage is 100% or greater, that means we need to take corrective actions. We need to implement measures to limit their exposure. If it's less than 100%, then we're good. We may still need to, may still be a good idea to implement corrective measures, but less than 100% is what we're shooting for in these situations. We want them less than 100% of exposure. Let's go ahead and take a look at a problem. Workers are exposed to a chemical mixture of toluene, acetone, and MEK, methyl ethyl ketone. Total exposure time is four hours. They're exposed to this mixture for four hours. And this, is, this all occurs during an eight-hour workday. So they're exposed for four hours during an eight-hour workday. During the four hours of exposure, they are exposed to toluene at a rate of 12.5 parts per million, acetone 200 parts per million, and MEK 100 parts per million. What is the level of exposure uh, to the chemical mixture? Again, we're looking for percent of the TLV for that mixture. And he, don't freak out. It's going to look difficult, but here's the formula that we're going to use. But before we can use this formula, there's one other uh, piece of information we need. We need the TLV for each of the mixture component. We need the TLV for toluene, acetone, and MEK. And I have those listed here. In real world situation, you might have to go look these up. You may have to go to the ACGIH manual to find the TLVs for these different substances. Now, on the certification exam, they're going to give you what you need. They're going to give you everything you need. They're going to give you the TLVs as well. Again, this is the kind of problem you might see on a certification exam. Now, once we have all of our information together, then we use this formula. Let's talk about this intimidating looking formula. And again, it's really mathematically not that difficult. You just plug in some numbers, do some simple math, and you come up with your results. And we're calculating percent exposure to the mixture. EXP in the formula, that refers to the exposure level for the individual substances. You have EXP sub 1, EXP sub, that should be EXP sub 2, all the way out to EXP sub N. That, that indicates there may be multiple different components in this mixture. Generally, it's going to not be more than three or four different components that we're working with. TLV, that's the threshold limit value for each of the different substances. Exposure time, this is how long they are exposed to the substance. In our situation, they're exposed to the mixture of substances for four hours. Then we have the length of the work shift. In our situation, it's eight hours. And normally on a CSP, ASP exam, the length of the work shift is going to be eight hours. That's the standard, that's considered a standard work day in the United States. So they're normally going to, going to use eight hours. We all know that some professions, some occupations, eight hour, an eight hour day is a rarity. They may be working 10 or 12 hour days. Um, that would require other considerations that we're not going to go into here. You're not generally going to see that addressed on the CSP exam. So again, these are our variables. Let's start plugging everything in. Okay. Exposure one. That is um, toluene, 12.5 parts per million. Then the TLV for toluene is 50 parts per million. Then our second substance is acetone. The exposure is 200 parts per million. 
and the TLV is 500 parts per million. Then our last substance in this example is MEK. The exposure level is 100 and the TLV is 200. Again, there's the exposure level. We're taking it from here and plugging it into the formula here. Then our TLV, it plugs into the numerator in this part, in this particular term. I'm sorry, the denominator in this particular term. Exposure time, four hours. We plug that in here. Uh, length of work day, length of work shift is eight hours. We plug that in there. You know, we've got everything plugged in. Now we need to take care of the mathematical operations. The first mathematical operation we want to address is the exposure for each substance divided by the TLV for each substance. And this divided by this, 12.5 divided by 50, we end up with 0.25. 200 divided by 500, 0.4. 100 divided by 200 is 0.5. Then we, we just bring down our 4 and our 8 from the previous iteration. Okay. Let's move to the next iteration. In this iteration, we are simply adding these three terms. 0.25 plus 0.4 plus 0.5, we end up with 1.15. And we bring down the 4, bring down the 8. Next iteration, we multiply 1.15 times 4, we end up with 4.6, we bring down the 8, and we're almost there. Now we divide 4.6 by 8, and we find our percent exposure is 0.575, or 58%. We'll go ahead and round that to 58%. The worker's level of exposure is 58% of the TLB for the mixture. Like I said before, if we were at 100% or greater, then we got a problem. We have to, we have to implement controls. At 58%, we are well within the TLV for this mixture. Our workers should be able to work in this environment continually without fear of physical harm, without fear of developing a disease. That's pretty much it. I didn't do any of the math with the calculator. Let's, let's go back and do that. We're only about seven minutes in. Let me go back and uh, verify our calculations here. Okay, and we'll start up here where we started doing calculations again. Our first calculation, our first mathematical operation was 12.5 divided by 50. And 0.25. Again, 12.5 divided by 50 is 0.25. Then our next mathematical operation was 200 divided by 500. Point 0.4, again, 200 divided by 500 is 0.4. Then our next mathematical operation was 100 divided by 200. And you really don't need a calculator for that, but I just want to go ahead and show you the verification with the calculator. 100 divided by 200 equals 0.5. So those are the calculations here. These are the uh, verified calculations for this part of the formula. Okay, now the next step is to add up all of those decimals. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to add these three numbers here. We've got 0.25 plus 0.4 plus 0 0.5 equals 1.15. Again, you add these three up, you end up with 
with 1.15. Okay, now we want to multiply 1.15 times 4. 1.15 times 4 equals 4.6. And there we are right there with the 4.6. Now the last mathematical operation is dividing 4.6 by 8. Whoops, wrong calculator. And that one would work too. I, I like this calculator I found online a little better. Um, we'll, we need to divide 4.6 by 8. 4.6 divided by 8 equals 0.575. And we convert that to a percent. We round to two, to, to two places. 58% is our level of exposure. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, email, call, text, whatever is the best for you as far as getting a hold of me. And don't be intimidated by these nasty looking formulas. The math is really easy. Most of the math on the CSP and the ASP, once you get comfortable with it, it's not that difficult. All right. Uh, have a good day, and I will see you in the next video.